whatever you have to say, oh God, say it in whatever way you choose to, oh God. We are here right now to hear from you. Speak what you want to be spoken. For it is in your son Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 How y'all doing this morning? Happening. Happening. If you have your Bible, turn with me to John chapter 7. John chapter 7. We'll look at verse... 46, 46. Seven, 46. <clears throat> and it says, the officers answered, never a man spake like this. Then answered the Pharisees, are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed on him? But these people who know not the law are cursed. Nicodemus saith unto them, He that came to Jesus by night being one of them, Though thou Lord judge any man before it hear him, and know not what he doeth. They answered and said unto him, Art thou also of Galilee? Search and look, for out of Galilee arises no prophet, and every man went unto his own. House. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Real quickly today, we're going to lift up caught up on the wrong details. All right. Hmm. Caught up on the wrong details. Hmm. In life, what we notice is usually the things that cause the most noise. In this very room right now, if she screamed in the back, we'd all assume that Oscar knew what was the cause of what caused her to scream. But what could have caused her to scream would have been up here. But because of her scream, we would have all missed what caused her to scream. Amen. Noise distracts us. Amen. I'm a lover of wrestling, and we all know wrestling is fake. <laughs> wrestling is built on the idea of selling moves. If you sell the moves, it looks real, and people can't see the details of how you pull off the action of appearing to hurt someone. One of the oldest tricks in the wrestling book is that when you punch someone... You stomp at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it gives this noise <laughs> and the sound and the appearance of that you're hurting someone. And that's how they sell the move. No noise fools us in church as well. Amen, amen. Mm. If the preacher hoops, then he's really preached. My if mind. a person is loud in their worship, then they're sure enough saved. A good band covers up for a lot of things like it Ooh. in the church. <laughs> Details are missed when there is a bunch of... Noise. Yes, sir. Mm. In our text here, there is a lot of noise being made. Pharisees are arguing over who Jesus is. One of the oldest tricks in the book of debate is whoever speaks the loudest yeah. wins the argument. Mm. When in truth, a lot of times, the one making the most noise has a weak argument, so they try to down-talk you. I'm going to punk you by the value uh -huh. of my voice. Uh -huh. mm. It's making the person want to relent because they don't feel like dealing with it. Anymore. In the midst of arguing, Nicodemus came with a real question to the discussion. When do we hold sessions without the person being able to speak for themselves? All right. mm -hmm. To avoid the legitimacy of the question, Nicodemus asked, the Pharisees asked Nicodemus if he too was a Galilean, deflecting. The use of this noise is a diversionary tactic. I'm going to attack anyone who speaks the truth with an, with an accusation. Yes. I know we've all been in arguments before, and normally what we do, especially in couples, is if you attack me with something, I'm going to throw back at you, you do the same thing. Mm. <laughs> or try to grab something old to deflect uh -huh. from the argument that we're having all right. right now. Right. Oh, y'all going. Come on, I'm come on. Right. If you're bringing someone out, if you're going, I'm going to attack whoever speaks the truth with an accusation. If you're bringing someone's out of control behavior to their attention, immediately they go for the excuse of don't judge me. <laughs> They make noise about you judging them to avoid the reality of what is really going on. All right. Mm -hmm. And just to put this away quickly, for the record, John 7 and 24 says, Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Jesus speaking. Jesus told me to judge. Just in the text. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> you read the text. The reason why they're even arguing whether Jesus can be the Messiah is because of his, quote, hometown. Yes, they ignored sir. every miracle, every work, every word he spoke, and the validity of his knowledge because they could not reconcile his address. Catch that? Mm. Yeah. 
you know, when we was little, um, it was all about the school we went to, and we had to go to the school that our parents went to. So in order to go to that school, we had to lie about our address so we can go to the school they wanted us to go to. <laughs> it was about zone, so we had to know our home address and then my aunt's address so we could school, go to the school that everybody went to. And if they found out you wasn't in the zone, they was going to make you switch schools. Uh -huh. Basically, what this is is a zoning thing. Jesus doesn't come from the zone that the Messiah is supposed to come from. So he couldn't be the Messiah. <clears throat> the whole hang was that he was supposed to come from the town of David, Bethlehem, and Jesus was from uh -huh. Galilee. Uh -huh. Just to clarify, he was born in Bethlehem. He was of Nazareth, which is in Galilee, <laughs> and he lived in Egypt for two years. Jesus had a lot of, quote, hometown. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, their real problem was his packaging as a commoner. That's right. See, you can't be better than me sitting with me looking like I do. You can't be the Messiah and be on my level. That's right. Mm -hmm. That that was their real issue. Some of us miss out on opportunities because of packaging. The details yes. are off. We have missed out on spouses or chose the wrong spouse based on packaging. Yes. Yeah. Missed out on jobs because the packaging wasn't what we hoped it to be. We've turned down opportunities because it didn't come from who we expected it to come from. That's right. Mm -hmm. In the movie Shrek, he rescues a princess from a tower. He does it without killing the dragon, and he himself is not a prince. So although she was free from captivity, she was frustrated because it was not done in the fashion. That's right. She right. had hope. Yeah. Right. Truth right. be told, we're just like her. We've been in bad situations so long, we plan our breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And how it should happen, and if it doesn't meet that picture, in our mind we reject yeah. mm -hmm. our freedom. Yes. We stay captive because, no, it, it wasn't supposed to happen this way. We uh -huh. have just like she did. The Israelites of the Old Testament rebuilt the temple after it had been destroyed and they had been enslaved. They did not have the riches Solomon had to the temple, so the temple's appearance was not as grandiose mm -hmm. as it was before. They wept and were depressed because, as a nation, it didn't meet what they pictured. Uh -huh. However, God said he would dwell in that temple greater than he ever was in Solomon's gold and diamond temple, mm -hmm. we get caught up on the wrong All right. detail. All right. Right, right, right. Our focus is on the wrong stuff. We focus on the problem, but not the fact that we're in relationship with the problem solver. Huh. We focus on how much stuff costs rather than the fact that we have the ability and the money to pay for it. Mm -hmm. We focus on how difficult our job is, but never relish in the fact that we are employed at all. Yes. Mm. The details Play have that. got us focused mm -hmm. on the wrong thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In our text, not only was he focused on the wrong thing, the Pharisee presented something as fact that wasn't true. Mm -hmm. And th this is a kicker to how we argue and how we discuss stuff. Mm -hmm. He says, research and look, for out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. My, my. Mm -hmm. While presented as the truth, the real truth is Jonah and Nahum were of Galilee. And there's a scholastic argument that so was Elijah. So no matter what he said, he was lying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Caught up where Jesus came from, and to make his argument stronger, he presented a lie as truth. Ah, don't don't we know people to do that? People love to present fake, strong arguments mm -hmm. that have no merit. My, my. The president of several other countries last night, or this morning over there, got Iran to sign an agreement to scale back their nuclear program for six months. Not as an end, but as a good faith start yeah. mm -hmm. to future negotiations. Mm -hmm. We kill them when they discuss the possibility of sending troops over there, and now we're killing them for diplomacy. Yeah. Arguments have no merit. There's nothing he could do that we were going to agree with. I've seen husband and wives argue about their actions, and the argument turned into an argument about kids and what the kids is doing because the conversation has no merit. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We yes, argue sir. over King James Version, NIV or NLT, and the truth be told, Jesus wasn't reading from any of them, no, no. the argument <laughs> right. has no yeah. merit. Uh -huh. They were so concerned about where he came from instead of who he came from. Mm -hmm. that they missed God and his son because of the details. Are we missing God mm -hmm. because of the details? My Are mind. we missing God because it's only six or seven of us in here? Mm -hmm. Are we missing God mm -hmm. because he's not telling us what we want to hear mm -hmm. during the week? Mm -hmm. Are we missing him because it's not package right. What details are we focusing on? Mm -hmm. You know, people get upset when you say, you know, God wants you to have this job and work in this place, but it's not the salary that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And they get upset because the only detail we care about 
is the salary. And if you start talking to people that have them big salary jobs, the salary is great, but what I go through to get it oh, Lord. is yeah. horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And what they would give to work in your workplace is so relaxed. Like, my wife fuss, fusses about her job sometimes. And I raise my mind to not being funny, but you get paid to do a lot of nothing. My wife will sit and watch a whole series of TV shows at work. Nobody else's job lets you bring your Kindle out and get on Netflix, and it's not a problem. My Lord. <laughs> Nobody else's job lets you do your schoolwork while you at work, mm -hmm. and it don't have nothing to do with the job, and it's not a problem. They may get on your nerves, but there's some perks to it. We get caught up mm -hmm. on the wrong details. What are we missing? Mm -hmm. Because we're looking at stuff wrong. All right. Mm -hmm. What did they miss? They missed the Messiah. Yeah. They're with them because they was looking at stuff wrong. Here's a question we have to ask ourselves. If Jesus came right now, would we accept him? Mm -hmm. My As he came like them, if Jesus came in here right now in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and long hair, would we accept him? My mind. They got caught up in it. How does he know scripture when he hasn't studied? But they never argued that he was wrong. Right. But how does he know right. that? Because right. he didn't right. go to right. school with us. That's right. Yeah. So we, we, we getting caught up on stupid stuff. Yeah. We argue and we talked yesterday, me and some friends, and we talked about how we all claim that we love Jesus. And we, we all agree on salvation. Mm -hmm. But we get caught up on details yeah. and create new Denominations, it caused division sure. mm -hmm. amongst a group of people that's supposed to have the same focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Caught up on the wrong detail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't care whether your skirt is at your ankle or at your knees, or maybe a little bit higher if that's your taste. But do you know who Jesus mm -hmm. is? And we reject people based on the wrong details. Sure right. This week, when we talk to God, God, what details am I missing? What am I missing that I should be catching? What what should I really be focused on? Mm -hmm. They were focused on the fact that his address wasn't right. Mm -hmm. And through ignored one of their own telling the truth mm -hmm. based on a false issue. Mm -hmm. Who are we ignoring based on fake issues that we make in our own Of course. Right. Of course. I know when I was doing stupid stuff, people could come to me with sound counsel and I didn't want to hear sound counsel. Because I made fake arguments. Hmm. And I made fake arguments seem real. It's not that black and white. Hmm. And you try to justify what mm -hmm. you're doing mm -hmm. to stay in the mess that you're in. Mm -hmm. Because you're missing the point. Mm -hmm. We go to God this week. Let's not miss the point. Amen. 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 Good word. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Definitely going on my mind last night. Uh, what, what are we missing out on? Mm. And some of us, we let, we let so many, we talked about in Bible study how we let so many distractions that Elijah didn't have and other people in the Bible didn't have. Mm -hmm. And we do lose track of what is important. Yeah. Lord, we come to you right now, Lord. First of all, just saying thank you thank for using our pastor today, Lord. Thank, thank you. Thank you for thank the you. word. Thank you for letting him look at that scripture differently. Yes, Lord. Amen. Lord, whatever you took out of him, Lord, please pour it back Touch into God. him. Yes, God. Double yes, God. Forward, Lord. Continue to use yeah, him, Lord. Give him vision. Continue to um, just give him the wisdom to be the pastor. To give him the wisdom how to deal with us. Thank you. Give him the wisdom um, to move forward in the purpose you have for his life. Lord, I pray right now over everyone in this building, Lord, I pray that we truly grow closer to you, Lord. Even in the children in our own way, I pray that they Thank you. another... Um, ounce of knowledge of how to experience you and growth, Lord, and just obedience. Yeah. Lord, I thank you for all that you do. Let us not just um, be hearers of the word, but doers as well. Let us grow closer to you this week. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.